Hi everyone, Chris Small Designs here, and this is part four of the Tamiya 148 scale G4 M1 build. So as you can see, we're still working on the interior of the aircraft, but I got one side painted, and that's not quite painted yet, but I didn't want to go too far without showing you what we have done. So we're just about done with the inside of the aircraft, as you can see, but um, I still want to add a little bit more detail. And again, I'm not 100% on what the inside of this plane actually had. I'm just going to move the light a little bit here. Uh, just because there's so many types, right? And um, with the Japanese being so secret and uh, not documenting everything or the documents being destroyed or, or what have you, um, I'm kind of guessing on what maybe this aircraft right here with Yamamoto actually had. So best guess anyway. So any, let's just have a look here. So I do have uh, some of the ammo cartridges, you know, stacked up in there. I might add a few. Um, we'll see how it goes. But as you can see, I've added now the table and the chair. But uh, I'll take this out. I just wanted to show you what it looks like, you know, in the aircraft. Uh, we've added the uh, controls there, as you can see. Um, looks like the trim. I believe that's the trim. So anyway, now in the last video, I don't know if I've made it clear, but this seat right here does not come with the plane. That is a scratch build, that whole piece right there. And we'll continue to the wards of the back. So not much has changed here as other than, you know, adding some paint chips and the paint itself. And again, I might extend the floor from here to here. I don't know. It might just be, you know, some styrene, a flat piece of styrene. Um, nothing special, but just so I can add uh, the glass blisters to the floor, right? Um, just to give the illusion of a floor. Because you're not going to see too far back into the plane. And then I built this right here um, to hold the 20 millimeter ammo cans, which uh, come in this set right here. You get a lot of them. Now, I don't know how long this actually was in real life. It might have extended all the way back. As you can see, this is glued on. I really don't know, but I just wanted to give the illusion of uh of this right this is where the ammo um was apparently stored so when you're looking in the plane from the rear right because you're only going to be able to see it looking you know right through um the butt end i guess you could say um it gives you the illusion of uh, the ammo storage anyway so um that's that so anyway let's uh let's take this out here because this isn't glued in and we'll get a better look at the table and such. So everything is a scratch build with the, the bombardier section anyhow. See, when you last seen uh, this chair, it looked like a, a chemical toilet, according to Mr. Briscoe. And I don't think it looks like a chemical toilet anymore. Unless you consider that brown stuff a chemical toilet, but anyway. Uh, so I just scratch built a, a, a table. Um, it's nothing special, I suppose. And then I had a long piece of photo etch from you know older kits that I just kind of wrapped around to give it that uh, you know metal edge. Let's see if I can get a better shot of it here. There you go. And then you know made a a pole or whatever you can say. Um, to attach the chair, right? So everything's scratch built on that whole assembly. And I might just put a map or, or something. I'm trying to Google um, Japanese bombardier tools and things like that, right? And I'm, I'm having a hard time finding, you know, much of anything um, to put on the desk, right? And again, this plane transported Yamamoto, so they're not really on a bombing run. Now, is this his personal plane or was it just like you know hey you you're, you're driving me today i i don't know so were things added or were things taken out to make the aircraft lighter i just don't know so um you know i still have to add some some equipment right here so i'm just going to go with everything was included in the plane and that's how i'm building this so if i can't really find anything i might just put a map just for color and uh and go with that right but uh before i added anything to the table i just kind of wanted to show you what i've done Right, so scratch built a table, and as you know from the last video, the chair, and added it in. So a little bit more detailing to go into there. Uh, I might add some wires and stuff like that with string just to simulate the uh, 
you know, the back end of these controls because you'll be looking in from the aircraft like this, right? So just gives you the idea of that. Um, and of course, I told you about the, the controls and stuff from the last video. You didn't see them. So there they are. It's nothing, you know, to write home about there. And then looking at the spare ammo from a more... Right. It's just, you know, paint and glue kind of thing. You should be able to see that. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, right? Um, have them on the other side, just opposite. So, and then we'll get a better look at this. So when you're looking at these, you're going to be seeing them from this end, right? You might see them for a little bit like that, but um, that's pretty much the idea. Just spare ammo. And that's where they sat, according to all the research that I've done. And then going back to uh, this, this uh, spare ammo, more will be all over here, right? Luckily with these uh, these sets, you get lots, lots of these. And that's using that set right there. I'll leave links to where I got mine. Don't know if they've uh, got more in stock, but uh, I'll leave links. And again, there'll be you know more here and more here so when you're using these um make sure you plan out extras right because there's here and here and then again on the other side so there we go so uh, i guess the next video i'll kind of show you the other side of this and then we'll close it up and we'll go from there so thanks so much for guys uh, please like share and subscribe and i look forward to your comments bye